Hi guys, it's reaction time. We've got Black Oak County and It's On You. I've been really waiting to get back to these guys. Um, their last single, Back For Blood, has been constantly playing in my car. It's been an amazing song. I didn't know if this, they're bringing out an album. I haven't seen anything yet about an album. I'm trying to look. There's nothing on even look below this video that says there's an album coming out yet. But I suppose they're working on one, which is cool. I only say that because usually if I listen to a song once and I know the album's coming out, I won't listen to it again until the album's out and then I'll listen to that album in a whole. But I've been listening to Back For Blood because I'm not sure if there's an album coming out. So it's been coming up on my 2023 playlist and I love it. It's such a rocking song. This is the next one. It's called It's On You. The band sent me this early, um, but you won't be hearing this early because I'm... If bands send me stuff early, obviously I don't release it unless I'm told to by the band. I would never do that. Um, so you'll be hearing this on release day um, that this is coming out, which is on the 30th, I think. Yes, the 30th of June. So that's this Friday, I believe. It's Saturday now, not near enough a week to go. Man, it's such a pleasure to hear new music and, and, and music that's early from bands. I will never get over that that bands want to hear what I want to say. It's mental, because I talk so much shit. <laughs> I just love music. I love talking about music. I love listening to new music, obviously. And to think that bands want to know my opinion, it's mental. It's mental. But here I am. It's Saturday, the 24th or 3rd, 24th, I believe. Um, and I've got this a week early, and I can't wait to hear it, because I just... Fell in love with that first song, Back for Blood. This is It's On You. Here we go, guys. stop there guys halfway through yeah it's just brilliant man back for blood was more of a like a i don't know rock and roll ac dc type vibe to it fantastic song you've got to check it out just go and check that song out now amazing song this has a more of a i don't know more of a modern edge to it i suppose but there's something that this has got which other modern rock music hasn't got and that's energy it's got hooks, unbelievable hooks. The chorus is soaring. It's on you. It's just so catchy already in there, in there completely. I love these guys. I love the way the two vocalists are used as well. Um, I love the way they swap around and harmonise in vocals. They, they are brilliant singers, which needs to happen. You know, you can't, 
you can't have crap backing vocals. You need to have good backing vocals. These guys almost swap it sometimes. I don't know the band as in I've gone back and listened to their catalogue, but listening to the last two songs, vocally they swap around quite a bit, especially on Back for Blood. It was really cool, you know, the difference in the vocals. That's excellent. So I love that. Gives you something else. Usually you get one vocalist, don't you? But they've both got brilliant voices, these guys. Um, it's got a heaviness about it, but it's got it's got a modern rock feel about it. But it's also like complementing, you know, music that we love from decades ago as well. It's got a slight touch to that. So that they I think they're on tour. Or they was on tour with Junkyard Drive, which brought out a brilliant album last year as well. I mean, it's perfectly complement each other. The both of them two bands. They've got that modern edge, but they touch upon music that we love as well from decades ago man what an absolutely amazing band this are and the best thing about this band is they what they bring which a lot of modern rock doesn't have is energy they bring so much energy even in their you can see in the live situation as well on this video i know it's not a live video but you can see the energy that they give off and it was the same in back for blood it gave you so much energy in their songs this is a little bit more tamer than back for blood that was really rocking but it's still got the energy, it's still got the heaviness a little bit. Love this band. Absolutely love them. They seem really like, um, I don't know, they just want to give you it straight, don't they? They want to give you straight rock, rock and roll at its best. Brilliant stuff and catchy at the same, really ultra catchy. Here we go for the rest, guys. Here we go. absolutely amazing stuff man i tell you the, the riff a little bit it's almost something like you would hear like you know on an auto bridge album or something like that that down and down and down fantastic stuff absolutely when it broke down into the heaviness and there's a part there where the drummer's like opening up his hi-hat and he's really and it just brings up the energy great songwriting great playing from everyone in the band brilliant Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And the amazing thing about it, they haven't given a release date, so I can cheat again. I can download that now. I'm going to listen, put it on my playlist for 2023. I'm not sure if the album's going to be out until next year um, because still no date's been announced. But man, that's a, that's an amazing rock and roll track. That really is. Guys, what do you think of that? Let me know in the comments below. That's Black Oak County and It's On You. The second song from the album that's coming out soon hopefully it's their third album guys what an amazing track let me know in the comments below see you soon